you go to the bank like that and don't actually get a result, that'll hurt. Those aren't happy faces, though. No. This is Europe's Strongest Man, the 40th anniversary, and we're down to the final events, the final nine men, and next up, Mr. Eddie Hall. Something you love, deadlift. Tell us all about this monster kit. Well, it is a bit of a monster kit. I mean, this is 350 kilos, but the disadvantage to these guys is a stiff bar, so there's no whip to help the guys up. It's a little bit thicker, which pulls them forward more. And the most disadvantage is it's one inch lower than a normal deadlift, which means the guys have trained all year at nine inch, but now they're going to pull it from eight, which puts extra strain on the lower back. So good luck to the guys. That's a hell of a weight to pull from that height. Well, let's see what happens here because uh, this is going to be a huge test to start the second day. So we move on then. Representing England. To Mark Zero Felix Graham. and Graham Hicks. Yeah. There's some tired men out there, Danny. <laughs> day one's taken its toll. It has, but I mean, this is a this is a good one for Mark Felix. It should be very good. Then again, Graham Hicks again a tremendous deadlifter. This will be a very tight battle. Felix doesn't hang around. I don't think either man will need all 60 seconds. <laughs> it's, uh, uh, most have blown out after 10. Hicks, he's on two. He's getting into his swing now. It's a fast start from both men. An ugly lockout at the end there for Felix. He's so quick off the floor. It's been a while since he's been beaten in reps. I think Hicks, he might just do him here, though. Well, locks out, manages four. As you say, tired men. Both these guys set records on day one. Well, Hicks looking over to Felix. He knows if he's one ahead of Felix, he's, he may well be one ahead of the pack at the end of this event. Don't forget Luke Richardson, though, a great deadlifter with that powerlifting background. So he really has to give it his all. Eight seconds to go. Well, he locks out, and that's five for Hicks. That, that's it. I mean... At one point, Colin, Felix was unbeaten for seven years on this event. Yes, yes. I mean, he's only ever been beaten a couple of times. Hicks, he's taken a big scalp there. Well, you'd be forgiven to think he's ageing. <laughs> <laughs> Felix, 53 years old, still in the mix. It's big Graham Hicks there in the lead with four. So the axle deadlift then. There's the strong men's breakfast. <laughs> And it is Richardson against Bishop. Now, these are the top two in the standings at the moment. They're going head to head. This should be fascinating. Bishop's in his absolute prime when it comes to deadlifting. I think some would say he's the best deadlifter in the world now when it comes to reps, but this guy, he's just an unknown quantity. With that pedigree and powerlifting. Well, it's Bishop who wastes no time at all here. And Richardson, a much slower puller. Bishop, very explosive man. Hits it hard at the bottom. I'm not sure his lockout's going to be as good at the top, though. Well, Bishop won ahead at the moment. This will be interesting psychologically. Um, Richardson, the new guy, enjoying the chase. Oh, ground that one out, didn't he? But Bishop as well, someone who likes to chase. Yes, he's certainly in the chasing position now. Can he equal? He does. Great effort. So what happens now? I'm not sure Bishop's got another. Richardson maybe, but a long pause. He might have just got stiff. No, can't quite do it. Glances over at Bishop. Bishop's finished as well. Well, they've equaled. That was perfect for Bishop. Timed it just right. Richardson tried to give himself a rest there, but it didn't pay off. Well, there's a three-way tie then with Hicks for the win. He looks a little lost, doesn't he? I think he really gave up his all there on that last rep. He failed, and when you go to the bank like that and don't actually get a result, that'll hurt. Bishop timed it beautifully. Those aren't happy faces, though. No. <laughs> Well, a humongous effort from Luke and Adam, matching the five lifts of Graham Hicks for a share of first place. Mark Felix, so often the dominant force on reps, having to settle for fourth.